I lost 54 pounds in two months. You guys have been asking me specifically, besides the sauna suit, what are the other three ways to lose weight? In this video, I'm gonna explain what it does for you, how to do it properly, and how to do it so that it doesn't kill you. to explain to you how dangerous it is it's not losing weight it's actually cutting weight uh, and what to expect from each one of the ways and how to survive it it's not losing weight it's not the same thing I hate this fucking phone in 2016 I lost 54 pounds in two months have people right here on Instagram asking me how did you lose the weight they're curious about the other three ways that I mentioned. I didn't really mention it. I kind of just said there's other three ways that I did this, including using a sauna suit. So I'm on a, a sauna suit page. Here's another person that he's curious. And of course, we got uh, the dickhead. LOL, sure you did. Okay, we're not the same homie because you had to laugh about it. So the page that I'm on is called Fight Aus, like Aussie, I'm assuming. Fight Aus MMA. A U S M M A. So they're advertising their uh, what did I call it? A sweatsuit back in the day. Mine was only twenty bucks. It was a piece of shit. But this one looks like high quality. And no, I'm not being sponsored by them. I'm making this video for the people who asked how did I lose the weight. So I did it four different ways. In this video, I'm gonna explain what it does for you, how to do it properly, and how to do it so that it doesn't kill you. Because disclaimer this is not for losing weight this is for cutting weight it's a huge difference but yes you lose weight it's probably a lot of water weight and one of the methods that i use i lost 14 pounds in two weeks and then not only that you might be asking oh why would i take advice from a dude that's 320 pounds first of all since since according to a lot of people anything that i say on the internet is fucking unbelievable go to the instagram page and see who the fuck I am. Yes, I'm Kenny. I'm the 320 pound guy this that moves fucking fast, boy. still skateboards, and has spinning kicks and high kicks. I'm that nigga. So yeah, this is why you would listen to a person like me. I'm just gonna kind of make the video as short as possible, honestly. So one of the first ways to lose weight the way I did out of the four ways, of course, was the sweatsuit. So using the sweatsuit, you put it on obviously you go on the treadmill right something like that something that's gonna heat your body up and make you sweat that's what we're doing here we're pushing out that water weight so you get on the treadmill you get on the bike whatever if you're doing some boxing or something basically sweat while wearing the sweatsuit simple as that it's not that crazy it's not like so scientific that you can't understand the concept of that wear the sweatsuit sweat period that's one of the ways the second way, apparently a uh, so-called friend, let's just say that because we ain't homies no more, scanned me, but that's another story. <laughs> he taught me something called the wrestler's way of losing weight. So remember, I'm doing all four of these at the same time. So the wrestler's way of losing weight, according to him, I didn't look it up, but I did it myself, was drink two gallons of water a day. Now be careful with drinking that much water because you can get water poisoning that is the thing look it up anything and everything that i say look it up yourself do not do it because i'm doing it because i'm not saying do this at home i'm telling you this is what i've done two gallons of water a day faithfully right that's the second way i'm gonna let you know a little story with that two gallons of water a day i um i don't know how much two gallons of water weighs but it got to a point I was losing three pounds a day. I have an Instagram account that I can't get into anymore, but it shows you. You see me stepping on the scale over and over throughout the weeks and the months. First way, so on the suit. Second way, two gallons of water a day. Again, water poisoning is a thing, and I think you can die from it. I don't know how to survive that. I can't help you there. The third one, number three. There's a thing called a steam room, and there's a thing called a sauna. A sauna is dry. It's just hot. The steam room is obviously what it says. It's a steam room. I used to spend 20 minutes a day with 
what I mentioned in number one, the sweatsuit, 20 minutes a day. Be careful with this because it got to a point where I was only able to do five minutes at a time and I was becoming very dizzy. I was very, I was wobbly to the car when I was finally finished. I would start out with 20 minutes. But then again, I remember, like I mentioned in the first one, I was on the treadmill. So that's all one day. I wasn't just, oh, one day here. No, I was doing everything. Leaking on the treadmill, sweating like crazy, go to the sauna, right? Drinking my two gallons of water a day, right? Steam room. Uh, I guess I guess the, uh, the sauna is just as good if you don't have a steam room. But I like the feeling of the steam instead of the uh, the hot, hot. It feels like. It feels like I'm in New York with the high humidity, and I don't, I don't like that feeling. So that's number three, steam room. Now the fourth way, there's actually five of them. There's actually five of them. It's not just four. So the fourth way is a diuretic. Now what a diuretic is, you take, uh, there are natural ones. I don't know what they are. But a diuretic is something that you take, you ingest it, and it makes you pee a lot. It pee, you're peeing and peeing, you're peeing out the water. It's kind of like when people have pills for their heart. That's what it does. Congestive heart failure. They take pills to get the water off the heart. So it does the same exact thing. It's not supposed to be a long video. It's just supposed to be straight to the facts and, and tell you what it is and what it does. Diuretic, so you pee out. There's also natural ones. Look it up. Just look up anything that I'm saying. You don't have to take man-made versions of a lot of these things. Or it, like any kind of pill on the planet, actually. You don't got to take the man-made version. Like if you want to lower blood pressure, you don't got to take their pills. You can take beet juice. That is the fourth one. A diuretic. It makes you pee. Now the fifth one is very difficult. Especially if you love to eat. It's very fucking difficult. But I would suggest if you are a newbie, break it down. You could try it the way I'm about to explain it, but I would say break it down, eat, break it down, eat. You can't go full fledged. And I and I mentioned in the beginning that I lost 14 pounds doing this in two weeks. So number five is juicing. Not the shit that the motherfuckers take to build muscle. No, you drink veggies. You put it in a, a juicer, not a blender, a juicer. So there's going to be a lot of fiber afterwards that you just toss out. Or you can cook with it or use it as fertilizer if you grow or something, whatever. But number five, juicing. For me, once you've done juicing a lot, nothing bothers you when it comes to the drinks. But I started to make a sugar-free version. So dark green when it comes to the leaves spinach kale dark green leaves so kale is one of them spinach other things i will put in there will be carrots it will also be apples kiwi pears to make the juice taste good that's what you're probably gonna have to do because you're probably like oh i can't drink this i used to put garlic in it juice garlic i would juice ginger and i would juice this thing called leeks which is which was a mistake but it was uh like onions it, it's fucking don't put that in there don't put lettuce lettuce is not gonna do shit no maybe arugula but i wouldn't waste my time so spinach kale carrots celery i did garlic and then i did uh ginger ginger's fine all the time and then you for your huge liquid base cucumbers but do not forget beets beets are very important and the color of the beets will overpower whatever you put in there it's all green you put one beet in there and then it all turns purple so you put all those in there so i used to do that minus all the fruits that's when the drink actually started to get nasty for me do it smooth with the fruits just so you know when it comes to juicing if you when i say juicing i don't mean like oh i just drink a juice when i say juicing i mean like I go a whole week without eating and I'm just drinking. I'm just drinking these drinks. Now, I would go a week and then have like a tuna sandwich, right? That's fine. If I was feeling too weak, because I am doing four other things on top of this shit and I'm feeling weak every fucking day. I was also drinking protein shakes, uh, Myoplex specifically because the grams of protein are very high per small bottle. 42 grams is what I remember. This is 2016, eight years ago. So juicing you juice three days for my body i'm a big guy you juice for three days you gotta use the bathroom make sure that if you're gonna attempt this shit start off maybe on a thursday let it go to a friday 
but I would say maybe start on a Friday so you're okay that day and then maybe you're feeling it Friday I mean uh, Saturday then Sunday and then you should be fine by Monday if you're gonna do it that kind of way but you can also obviously eat your 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 meal and then throughout the day say if you ate a breakfast oh I'm gonna have a juice for lunch then eat another meal for uh, dinner or you do two drinks breakfast lunch for drinks and then dinner you eat a meal or whatever depending on how you feel because I feel like I had to ease into it so I did three days in a row I ate then I went hardcore I went from that day for that one day off I went two weeks straight and then I lost 14 pounds after that but basically here's the most important part you have to survive this shit if you're gonna fucking do it if you do it incorrectly yes you could fucking die of kidney failure so what you're gonna do is take I would say take potassium supplements you need the potassium you know whatever eat a fucking banana but personally I don't want to fucking die or have any kind of organ failure so you take potassium during this drain and uh, what the dude said on that um, page that's selling the suits he also added cuz I you know I left the comment so he also added add electrolytes and it makes sense because I don't need plasma and I need to drink Gatorades or any kind of drink that has the electrolytes in it so that would be the sixth thing make sure to replenish your body from all the all these things that we're doing I mean yes it's healthy to a point but then we're also taking these diuretics and things like that are making you pee so you need to replenish hey of course I was drinking the two gallons of water yes but um I was fucking dizzy bro okay so I had a fight right but the day before the fight is the last time to lose a certain amount of weight the last day I lost seven fucking pounds that last day seven pounds in one fucking day I kept going from the treadmill to the steam room that's the time where I went from t really went from 20 minutes to five minutes I can only stay in five minutes and I was getting dizzy I was like man what the fuck so, but get out of there if you're feeling crazy get out of there if you plan on copying what I'm doing I wouldn't recommend you doing this this is usually for professionals that cut weight but they don't do it the way I'm doing it, doing it or the way that I've done it I should say because I haven't done it in a long time because a lot of weird things in my life but whatever take your fucking time do not rush into something like this do your research on top of what I've said so you can figure it out for yourself this is not something that's easy and it will take a toll in your body like it did mine you know what I'm saying and I was fucking even though I was a big guy and if you go through that page you can see I was 273 because I lost all the weight I mean I lost the, that was the, the first 14 pounds because then I gained weight later on in life, you know. Then I started that whole thing because I had the fight. Because that was a huge gap. It was like a three-year gap. I tried juicing, right? I tried juicing. I stopped. I had this shitty life, blah, blah, blah. Then 2016 comes around. And then someone's like, oh, I got to fight for you. That's when I jumped on the juicing part. That's the part that I knew for myself. Also from the dude who told me about the, uh, the water part, the wrestler. We looked at a video about um, 100 days juicing and how much weight you lose and then how it can reverse diabetes yes I am diabetic actually with uh, from f and it's ironic because I've always been a big guy but in the last five years I became diabetic uh, I think this is something that was saving me for a while <laughs> until the inevitable but there was a reason why I became di diabetic so it wasn't just oh yeah he's overweight no it, it, it wasn't the overweight part it was what I was putting into my body uh, coping mechanism basically so um, if you're gonna try it out let me know what you think um, and that's it to it just make sure to check out check out any of my other videos De definitely check out the Instagram just to see what kind of athlete I am so you can understand like oh yeah this guy's really that nigga like honestly but yeah that's it